In this video we're going to talk about slope intercept form. Now if a line has slope m, and we often use the letter m when we're talking about slope, and if it has y intercept 0 comma b, then it is the graph of this equation y equals mx plus b. Okay, so when you see something of this form, y equals mx plus b, where the m and the b are just constants, they're just numbers, and the x and y are variables, the, the graph of that would be a straight line with that, that has a slope of m and a y-intercept of b, or really 0 comma b. And this equation is called the slope-intercept form of the equation of that line. So let's do an example. Find the slope and the y-intercept of the graph of the of the equation y equals negative two-thirds x plus four. So notice what is the slope? Well the slope is negative two-thirds. Okay that's our m. And our y-intercept is four. Okay or really zero comma four. Okay now it says to draw the graph as well so how would we draw the graph? Well the first thing I do is draw the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is up here at zero comma four and then we need to draw a line that has a slope of negative two-thirds. Okay, and it goes through this point. So we're going to start at this point, and remember that the two on the top here in the numerator is the rise, and the three is the run. So what I usually do is start with the run. So I'm going to run to the right three, and then we're going to go down two. Okay, now why are we going down two instead of up two? Well, because it's a negative slope. Okay, then you could continue on and keep doing this if you want to. You could go to the right three again, and then down two. We get to this point right here. I think that's six comma zero. Or, uh, actually, you could start with the original point, and you could go back to the left three, and then up two. And here is the line that goes through those points. So this line the, is the graph of the equation y equals negative two-thirds x plus four. Okay, let's do another example. Find the equation of the line that has y-intercept zero negative three and slope five halves, then graph the line. Okay, so our line has a slope of five halves, so our, our equation is going to be of the form y equals mx plus b, uh, and the m in this case is five halves, and the slope is, uh, or that the slope is five halves, and the y-intercept is minus three. So you could put plus a negative three, that would be okay, but usually what we do is just write this as y equals five halves x minus three. Okay, that's the equation of the line that has this y-intercept and this slope. Now sometimes uh, you'll see it use f of x, right? f of x equals 5 halves x minus 3. The graph of that would be the same thing as the graph of y equals 5x minus 3. Okay, so what is the graph going to look like? Well, the y-intercept is down here at minus 3 and has a slope of 5 halves. So the run is 2. That means we run to the right 2 and then we go up 5. So I think our next point would be right here. So we go to the right 2 and up 5. Or if we were, uh, we could go back to the left 2 and then down 5. Okay, and the line that goes through uh, these points is going to be uh, the graph of y equals 5 halves x minus 3. And here is the graph of that line. Okay, this next example asks to uh, about horizontal lines. So find the equation of the horizontal line that has a y-intercept of uh, 0, 4. So notice right here, I've drawn this horizontal line. It has a y-intercept of 0, 4. And remember that uh, horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So if we're going to write this in the form y equals mx plus b, the m is going to be 0, and the b will be 4. So it's y equals 0x plus 4. But since 0x is really just 0, we usually just write this as y equals 4. So y equals 4 is the equation of this horizontal line. And in fact, y equals any constant, so y equals 4 or y equals 7, will end up being a horizontal line. Okay, that has a y-intercept of 0, 4, 0, 7, whatever the case might be. And in fact, I've, I've noted this here. If k is a constant, then the graph of the equation y equals k is a horizontal line uh, that has a y-intercept of 0, k. And if k is a constant, the graph of the equation x equals k turns out to be a vertical line with x-intercept 
k comma 0. So as an example of this, graph the line x equals 3. So we've graphed the line here. It turns out if you take any point on this line, any ordered pair on this line, the x coordinate is going to be 3. In fact, th this line is precisely the, the set of points that have an x coordinate of 3. So this is the graph of the, the equation x equals 3. And notice the slope here is undefined. right? It has undefined slope. Uh, and so undefined slope, vertical lines have undefined uh, slope, so we can't put it in the form y equals mx plus b because the m would not be defined.